to all members of the University of Nairobi community, ladies and gentlemen. I salute the Chancellor, Dr. Fiju Ratansi, the members of council, the government of Kenya, all members of staff, our students, our collaborators, and partners for holding up the institution during this period of COVID-19 pandemic. Because of your unequivocal support, the institution has been able to deliver according to its mandate. Ladies and gentlemen, mid last year, the university identified five focus areas of reforms that will make it more vibrant, relevant, and sustainable. We shall continue to focus on all the identified pillars of our reform agenda, namely the data reforms, governance reforms, people reforms, curricular reforms, and financial reforms. We have made good progress so far. However, there is still more to be done. During my last address, I updated you on the status of curricular reforms. Today, I will focus on the governance reforms. Under governance reforms, we plan to interrogate the management and government governance structures of the university and align them to the mandate and mission of the University of Nairobi. The goal of the governance reforms is to ensure enhanced accountability, efficiency, and effectiveness of service delivery for improved competitiveness and image. These reforms are also aimed at helping the university adopt to the changing environment, including technological advancements. Ultimately, the new governance structures will ensure consistency with the University of Nairobi mandate and address the financial challenges currently being experienced and their implications to the future survival of the university. Compliance with the regulatory environment, including compliance with the University Act 2012, and the other relevant registration and policies. Recently, we sent out a call for views and recommendations on what interventions would be required to make our university more relevant, vibrant, and sustainable. I am very grateful for all those who have given their views. The views will inform the review of the university governance and administrative structure. Ladies and gentlemen, identifying and nurturing talent is an area of focus in the people reforms. On 18th June 2021, we held our annual university games where students and staff competed in various sports disciplines. The college of biological and physical sciences emerged the best overall, followed by the College of Health Sciences and the College of Humanities and Social Sciences was that sports are necessary in improving a healthy lifestyle and in developing a culture of competitiveness. I take this opportunity to congratulate all participants and salute the winners for their excellent display of talents in various categories. University of Nairobi is truly a home of talents. I believe that the majority have heard of the new athletic star in town, one Ferdinand Omanyara, who is a second year Bachelor of Science chemistry student at the School of Physical Sciences. Mr. Ferdinand Omanyara recently broke the national records for 100 meter sprint and qualified for the Tokyo Olympics. He has done the University of Nairobi proud. On behalf of the university community, I congratulate him and wish him all the best as he travels to Europe to participate in other competitive races before proceeding to Tokyo later next month. We pray for him to come back with a trophy. We celebrate him. I have directed the director 
of corporate affairs to coordinate and organize wash parties in a university so that we can share Ferdinand during his first days on 31st July 2021 and God willing on 1st August 2021 during the semi-finals. You will be updated on this as appropriate. As you are already aware, the UN at 50 celebrations are soon coming to a close on 30th June 2021. The convocation list to date indicates that we have graduated about 244,000 graduates. The University of Nairobi is therefore their alma mater, meaning their nursing mother, or, if you wish, their nurturing mother. Many of those who have been nurtured by University of Nairobi academically would, no doubt, give testimonies on the role the university played in their own personal development. We are proud for all those who have been nurtured by the University of Nairobi. In a special way, I would like to appeal to all of you to consider and support the university in various ways, depending on your individual and collective strengths, so that your nursing mother, the university, can continue to remain healthy and nurture many more now and days to come. Opportunities for engaging with the alma mater can be in various ways, including providing scholarships, other ideas, mentoring of students, offering attachments for students, supporting of research activities, refurbing of facilities, contributing to the endowment fund and any other ways that you may feel is appropriate. I invite all those who consider University of Nairobi as their alma mater, nurturing mother, to find comfort in engaging us through the Office of the Director of University Advancement and Institutional Development. Email address advancement at unbi.ac.ke or directly through the Office of the Vice Chancellor. Fees at unbi.ac.ke Thank you for listening to me. God bless you richly.